I'm Bernard Barcena, and I am the tribal chairman for the Lipan Apache tribe of Texas. And what I'd like to discuss is, is that, uh, you know, it, with Wikipedia, what happens is, is that a lot of people, when they go to, to research something, Wikipedia is probably the, the premier, if not the first, you know, source that comes up. So I'm here to address that it's it's important that the information that's presented is one that's that's a factual, and it it really gives the 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 truth and 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 scope of what the people are that's there. So some of the things that have happened recently is that there are individuals out there that get to edit and the people that they're editing doesn't don't give get the opportunity to go in there and correct and give their own version of the history and that's something there that that's uh, pretty disconcerting and there's a tremendous amount of people out there that feel the same way that that uh, me and, and and my people and people in Texas and other other places feel is that we are not being given the opportunity to be able to go out there and give our version of the history and give it as a factual history because other people have been able to put their version in there. And, you know, we, we, we'd like to be able to be able to say, okay, these are the differences between what's a federally recognized tribe versus a non-federally recognized tribe. What does it mean to be a state recognized tribe? You know, things like that to where all of these points have to be presented in such a way that's concise and 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 true for each person to have their own uh, their own truth out there and uh, you know basically that's that's pretty much uh, what it is that we would like to be able to have here at this at this conference. Um, thank you, yeah. Bernard. What kind of things are they editing into these articles? What are they saying about Native people? Well, what they're what they're editing in the articles is that that. Uh, a lot of the organizations and tribes that are there are being what they call self uh, self identified that they're the ones that are saying that we are the ones that are saying this is who we are without actually being who we are we don't have the benefit of being a federally recognized tribe so if we say that we are an identified community like for instance here in where i'm at in, in texas you know, we have different communities that are 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 there from different portions of the state, and those communities that were there, you know, they they were, uh, uh, I, I guess, uh, I don't want to say discriminated against, but they were identified by uh, a dominant society or the people that came in. You know, I like to think that the people that came in, they claimed to be settlers, but they were more like conquerors. And, you know, they came in and the lands that were here, they they pretty much got to come in and write the narrative. So outside people are doing the same thing. They're sitting there saying, well, y'all are self-identifying yourselves as native people. And it's like, no, we're Native people by the virtue of our blood and by the virtue of, you know, being here in the in the in the in the community, in the area and the land that we're at. Right. So so the phrase self-identified Native American is is inaccurate and maybe even offensive. Uh, pretty much very much offensive because it's saying that we have tried to to take, you know, usurp, steal an identity that was not for us to have as our own as to who we are, but an identity that was given, you know, from the federal government or, you know, the, the church or whoever the, the people that came in to colonize. So yeah, it's a very offensive term. If we sit there and say, this is who we are, you know, that would be, you know, like me saying, well, you know, I was born in an African country. So I identify as being an African American. You know, things like that, you know, I'm sure that there would be other African-Americans. They would look at me and say, you know, how can you say that? Why Why would you even, you know, you're making fun. You know, never mind that I might have been born at an Air Force base in, in northern Africa in Morocco. You know, so I'm not misidentifying myself. I'm saying, you know, I can say I'm an African-American because that's where I was born. 
you know, so it's 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 very offensive for other people to sit there and say, well, you're self-identifying when in fact it's like, no, not self-identifying. I'm just stating the truth might not be an obvious truth, but it's a truth, you know, so that that's what I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah. So so Wikipedia shouldn't uh, use that term when talking about native people. We shouldn't say native people self-identify. No, that would that. Uh, no, they shouldn't. Because I'll give you an example. Here in Texas, the laws are very, very stringent. I, I think it was uh, in 1871 they had an allocation uh, bill that was formed. And in that bill, you know, it was that there would be no new uh, treaties made with any uh, Native American tribes. And that was from 1871. So a uh, little bit further on, here in Texas, I think it was like in 1876 or something like that, it would be like there would be no new uh, Native American tribes recognized in Texas. So the thing that made that bad is that, you know, there would have to be legislation passed that would allow for that to happen here. It's not something that's self-identifying and saying, hey, you know what, uh, we'd like to be identified and what's the process for us to be able to, to get that, you know, and... Uh, you know, it's 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 very disconcerting. Okay, thank you for coming today, Bernard. We really appreciate hearing your perspective on Wikipedia issues. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. All right, please hit the log off or the end button on your end. Okay, never mind. Don't leave, Bernard. <laughs> Bernard, don't. Okay. No. No, I'm here. And that means they're identified as Native American. So the person who's not Native American, how do I figure out which one, which person is wrong? Oh, yeah, let me read the question. I went to the article, on the Lenape article, that says self identified, and I figured out which genes are added to language, and that means they're. Um, I identify themselves as a Native American as well. I'm not aware of what's wrong. Um, and so I guess what is your advice about how do we navigate that situation as non-Native Americans? And who do we, you know, how do we decide who's correct and who isn't? Thank you. Can you hear that, Bernard? Uh, no, I can't. Can you hear me? Okay, so basically he was asking, how do you tell who is Native American then? How do I tell? How, how does the person yeah. tell that? Well, there's, there's enough. I guess we're making a big I was loaded. Um, yeah, there's another. There's a Wikipedia user who identifies as a Native American, added that language. So I'm not sure, like, which person, as a person, who, as an outsider, like, which person do I believe is correct? Well, a person outside, okay. First off, any person that's born here is a Native American, okay? To sit there and say, you know, a, an Aboriginal person or a person that was Native to this land, you know, that would be like saying the Native Americans that are here, say like in Texas, you know, what would that mean? Would you first be a Spaniard? Would you be a Mexican? Or would you be the indigenous people that you were there that got intermarried into it? You know, so to sit there and say, who can identify? I guess it would be the people that are in charge of the colonization or the settlements that are there that get to determine who is a Native American. I know in, in the case of the United States, obviously, because of the Constitution and because of the laws that are there, you know, the federal government gets to say who is a Native American because, you know, they became wards of, of the federal government. And, you know, here in Texas, to sit there and say, you know, Native American, you would have to be a member of a federally recognized tribe, not just to sit there and say, well, I identify as being a Native American, because then that would give credence to the belief that, well, you're a self-identifying as a Native American. That being, if you're not a part of a federally recognized tribe, then, you know, you pretty much don't get to say anything. That would be just like, you know, somebody saying, well, yeah, my parents both came from from Italy and, you know, I'm a first generation American. So I'm a Native American of Italian descent. 
So, you know, that th these are the things that, that happen as to who gets to sit there and, and identify and say that. Well, I would hope to think that uh, we as a people and as a community that, that has been, you know, here, you know, like I'll give you an example here in, 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 in San Antonio. You had different areas of the city that had different uh, communities, you know, for one section of the town, you would have, say, uh, the Native Americans or the His or the Mexican population. Another section you would have that would be like an Irish or or Germanic peoples. You would have different types of people. You know, I might be able to say, oh, well, they identify as being an Anglo-American and you know, just different things like that as to who gets to say, well, the, the people that are that uh, make the laws are the ones that are, are basically the ones that are saying. And that's why we are fighting so hard to say that we identify as being a Native American, trying to get the federal government to sit there and, and recognize us as being such. Not that we aren't. It's just that we would like for them to acknowledge us and recognize us and then make us the wards that we're supposed to be from them. You know, I like to think of ourselves as being a sovereign nation, but in reality, you know, what, what's the sovereignty? The sovereignty is based on what the federal government has given. It's not really, you know, the sovereignty of being able to be a self-determining factor. You know, we don't, we don't get to self-determine ourselves. Another question, Bernard. I didn't hear you. You have another question, Bernard. Yeah, uh, it's just a very brief comment. Uh, I'm, I'm Canadian, but I'm not Indigenous. Uh, we have a somewhat similar issue in Canada as well. Uh, there are recognized uh, bands, which is equivalent to tribes. And some uh, some uh, some Indigenous people actually lost their status in order to gain the right to vote. Or if a, if an indigenous woman marries a white what man, they also lose the the Indian status. Um, so that make them anything less than being an Indian? Absolutely not. And in fact, there are there there are also people who live way up north and they don't they never apply for an Indian status card because they never need to. But that also doesn't make them any less Indian or indigenous. So. I think that, that could also be, I haven't looked at those uh, articles for, for Canadian Indigenous people, but that could also be a potential issue that I could see. Did you hear that? I have a real bad time hearing because it, it sounds like a, a an echo. Okay, that's okay, Bernard. I'll make sure to send you a, a summary, okay? All right, thank you. All right, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Bernard.